Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be doing what's on my desk. So what's on my desk is that I have got um, some things I've, I've, this is my sample for you to see and I'm going to be using this particular die from Sizzix. But if, if you don't have this die, these are reasonably easy to make. You don't have to make them a size, you just have to uh, create a... Um, measurement here to cut out the slots so I've seen bigger ones you can make them any size you like really they're not that hard to do if you use a knife and to cut out the slots and also because I want to use up all of these old things that I've had for ages that I've got out of 6x6 six six paper pads you know how they all have the little especially if you have Kaiser craft ones they have all these little things at the back and I've just got too many of them it's just ridiculous and all these little tags I've got that I've made you know along the way they're just going to be want to use some stuff up so because um, I for, often forget about my little tags so this is my sample and I've uh, popped these uh, things in there to put in a little folder so these are all from a collection a Kaiser craft collection I reckon this I don't know if it's the same one or different ones doesn't matter I just chose ones that sort of went a bit together kind of thing the same sort of tones for this particular one you don't have to do that you can do whatever you like so, and like and I just put um, this butterfly image on the back of this one so on the front of this particular card because there's a still blank in the middle there because it's a bit small really to write a record thing which you get a bit got room on the back so yeah, put that there so there's that's one and what I, I'm going to show you how I did that so very easily I just put Used a blending brush and because I stuck two together and I didn't realize until it was stuck so I've already blended that one so I'm just going to use a blending brush blending brush getting my mouth around the word properly using this bit of old um, paper from something else so I'm just going to go around the edges to start off with just to give it that uh, look I'm using Vintage Photo because I think that um, it probably would go into a number of coloured journals, the neutral tone. I mean, if you could make specific ones if you wanted to, like pink ones if you wanted to, use it and not do the blending brush at all. I am using Ivory Cardstock from Kaiser Craft that I bought online. It's funny with Kaiser Craft. Sometimes the thing's cheaper to buy on, online that is in store. I asked one of the shop assistants once, I said, I said how, come, how come it's more, it's cheaper to buy online that is on store? And she said, I don't know. She didn't know. I think I was trying to buy some, a pad of pen and ink. So I'm going to stick that down, which is a collection called pen and ink, sorry. I should say a bit more explicitly what I'm going to talk about. So I pop that on there like that. And I did, bought, I got some, a new stamp set from Tim Holtz that I bought from Witchcraft You Do. Witchcraft You Do details are in my description box before below. If you don't know what I mean, underneath my video there's all these uh, hashtags and then it says more. Click on more and then underneath I've got links to uh, Witchcraft You Do and other um, websites that I use, um, other companies that I use continually so I just bought that and I'm using that to give myself a bit of texture really so just being a bit of black soot just to give a bit of texture it doesn't have to be perfect because you know just to give it a bit of difference really you can use more than one stamp or no stamps at all Again, it's up to you. So I'm going to use this stamp as well. This is from where is it? This is from which craft you do as well. This is a stamp from is it Creative Expressions? I think it might be Creative Expressions. Sorry, it's probably glary. I love it because it's got this is a passport thing, but it's got lots of great numbers and stuff on it. So I'm gonna put some even though I've got these in stamp them all. Onto, onto paper that I've got my folders over there. Um, thought I would just do it this way for a change. 
actually use a stamp. So I'm using a signature. Stamp two. Just a sort of like create a sort of official kind of folder. And this one says date of entry. All from the three stamps I've just used then have all come from this Creative Expressions stamp set from which craft do you do? Got three or four things on the go here at once. <laughs> just gonna put that on the side here. Like I did here, this one here. So I'm just going to pop them out to one side out for the moment, and I'm going to use. I put backing on it. You see, I used this book, use book page. So I'm going to do the same for this one here. So I'm just going to go around the edges on the three sides. Make sure you don't stick down the bottom one because when you put this in on your page, when you put this on the page, when you put this on the page like that. If you stick it just on the three sides there, there, and there, you've got another pocket to put something at the top here. I'll show you. Like that. So you've got lots of pockets to use. That's my intention anyway. I want to make a few so I've got them ready to go. Because like I said, I keep forgetting about my little things. And if I make some up, I've got them there ready to go. I don't usually like making lots of ephemera ahead of time, but I need to use my little things. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will help me use my little things. Because I've had them in a folder for ages, thinking I was going to use them that way, and I haven't. So I thought if I do them a little bit differently, hopefully. It'll help use up some stuff. Because like I said, this is a whole tray of things before they were all in little pockets in the folder. But I thought if I got them out and rifled through them, I would use them. And there's something I can do when I'm watching TV as well. Rather than rifling through lots of pages of a folder, which can be bit awkward at times they're all in there now so there's my backing and just to find some things to put in here so let's, let's see what we can got in here do something different this time get some black again I don't know which collections they all come from they all come from different Kaiser craft ones what else have I got is a clock Will I laugh off and laugh much? I don't know if that's going to fit in there. Well, it does, but I think that's probably going to be too much like that because that's about laughter as well. What else have I got? On this day, I felt stick, tick the box, happy, excited, creative, all of those things. Put it there. Got a lot of black in there, haven't I? Really? Remember when? That's a good one. I like that one. That's just nothing on that one. Do I want to put a picture? We'll leave it blank. It's only it's tiny. You'd have to do some very tiny writing on that one, but we'll just leave it blank, I suppose. I don't know if I want to use that black one now. Because otherwise it's too much black. What else have I got in there? A big guy. Oh, there's some bees. Why don't we use some bees? I think this is from a freebie. But I can't remember where from. Sorry. It's just paper at the moment. I mean, you could back all of these things. As soon as you back things, sometimes it creates a bit of bulk. Unless you've got something to thin to back it with. I know that some people use coffee dyed paper for their backing. I'll probably go along after. If I, if I put this in the journal, I'll probably go along afterwards and put some backing on them. I think that looks nice there. What else have I got in here? This is the one I'm trying to use up. What's this? Some tickets. 
and where those would go because they're all floral I'm trying to sort of stick to a sort of like a streamlined theme here got some books could do some books maybe yeah I need to cut that off there's too much white showing for my liking This is very peaceful and calming. Had a busy morning. We had a grandson's overnight, and um, well, when you see this, it'll be in the middle of the week. I try to do what's on my desk, put it out on a Wednesday, depending on the date, because I have a commitment to do something for this couple of dates. So. Like I said, I like to tour and try and put these things out in advance. So, does it need something else? I think maybe it might need something else. You could take that away, it's a bit distracting, isn't it? Sorry. Do I want butterflies as well as bees? Would that be a bit too much? Could be. I've got this one up here that's got nothing in there. No, I reckon that's all right. Okay, so that's two done. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Where did I put my other one? Oh, I think it is over there. So there's two. Just do one more with you and then I'll let you go. This is fun. Find the little labels over there underneath the stamp. Stick it together. Here's my scrubby bit of paper. And here's the other side. I've had different colour on it. I should have done a different colour one so you can see how a different one colour looks. Looks, oh no, <laughs> just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Do a different colour one anyway. Whoops! I do that all the time when I'm in a rush. Go to this, use the stamp pad from the cover. Need a bit of feedback. My family tells me I'm a, I have a, when I get relaxed and comfortable and want to say stuff, I, sometimes I do talk too fast and I tend to mumble sometimes. And I was watching a video the other day and I'm thinking, oh, can people actually hear me? That sounds like I'm mumbling. And that'd be nothing worse. So, if you're having trouble, you know, understanding what I'm saying and you think I'm mumbling, please let me know. Because if people don't tell me, then I don't know how to improve myself in my presentation and how I talk. Because I'm so relaxed, because I feel quite, quite comfortable doing YouTube now. So, I'm just going to do the same stamp again all the time. I could use different stamps. You could put a word there instead of a number. Let's do this one here with a date of entry. I don't know, for some other reason I just like it on the left hand side. Take that off. Put the signature on. This is just an idea. I mean, I'm sure you have your own ways of doing things. A bit of texture. Not a lot. Ooh. Hmm, that looks effective. I like that one. So, what stamp set you're saying? 
Because I was looking, I was actually looking at this one for a while. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then when I saw it for 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 sale from witchcraft, you thought, yes, you know that his stamps are so expensive. Um, faded type, it's called CMS three nine five. I don't. Witchcraft who do do only had a few, so I don't know if they've all sold out. Apologies, I didn't check. I think uh, you can get them from Amazon. Witchcraft you do don't have any left. So there's two, I knew there was two there. I thought there was. So I'm just going to glue this down like I did before, just three size. So you can use it as a I don't know why I'm going to do three sides because it's, I'm sticking to the back anyway. Hmm. Yes, Kay. You could have done four sides. It wouldn't have made any difference because you've got a back. Oh, well. Normally, I stick these straight on the page, these little ephemera holder things. Um... But because I'm doing them in advance, I thought, well, how, how's that going to work if I put my things in there? How are they going to stay there? And I thought, oh, they need back, okay, obviously. Well, not that I use the word obviously to myself, but I'm thinking, yes, sometimes you think, I think, think of something and then all of a sudden the idea comes to you, which is really good. Not always, though. Sometimes the ideas don't come. Everywhere. Right, what should I do on this one? Let's use different colours this time. So, is that going to go on there? No, it's too wide. That's going to have to go as a tag all by itself. Same thing, that one there. That's free, so we can use that one. It's got nothing on it. It'll be nice little little writing space, or we could put some decoration decoration on there to make it look finished. Could do that. In my other box of multiples of things, I'll keep the I'll keep the ticket out. For the moment this is a bit some of these are a bit faded because of the way that I I didn't know about printing you know how to print properly uh, for a while there so some of these things are a bit sad looking I didn't realize you had to go in there for each one and uh, go to high for instead of printing standard you got to press high to print it off so took me a while to realize that talk about dumb not dumb but it's slow I would say oh, there's a flower there <laughs> oh, maybe that could go there it's the wrong color isn't it really oh there's a pink one there let's do that that's nice let's do the pink one Put the other one away for now But trying to use your, your stash up, and I've, I've got all these things, and I'm thinking I've got to use them up. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And that one's going to go in here. That off a little bit more because it's got some white there. Oops. Some seed buns. And there's a backing, that one does. Probably not on the camera, sorry. 
apologies i do that a lot so i'm so sorry I forget that i need to be up in the middle i'll put that in it's not going to go down that way is it because it's made of paper rather than a bit thicker that'll do and there's a nice pink one there that can go here as well needs a bit of I probably should have used pink ink but I'm not going to it means I've got to change the brush <laughs> I've only got a few handles I know lots of people have a different different one for each colour but uh, I, haven't got the, I just don't do that I haven't got the room for it really so it's fine just the way it is What else have I got that's pinkish? There's this, but I think it's a bit too blue. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort of find some things that's pink. I don't know if I like that there now. Put that there. And that there. One more, maybe. Oh, look, there's a pink one. Nice pink one. That pink's sort of a different colour now. I think if I got, when it got rid of the bold brown, maybe that would look, look a bit better. Because I think there's two, two different collections here. One's a retro ones and one's a uh, uh, sort of vintage, has a vintage sort of look about it. I think it's two different ones. Is that it? To be beautiful means to be yourself. I like that. <laughs> Chopping and changing here. I was going to say, Kate, I'm so fussy. Doesn't matter what goes in there, really. Just like things to look nice that's all and together if you know what I mean that's just not going to go on there now it's the wrong pink okay. oh there you go there's all my pink ones together Let's go through that box I think and look out what you, I don't like the way this was printed out so I'm gonna probably get rid of some of those so there's my uh, what's on my desk make for today with the three little ephemera holders with a variety of colours and um, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I'm going to put them in my stash and uh, pull them out when I need. So thank you very much and uh, for joining me today and uh, please take care Take and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. See ya.